Tomb Raider? Tomb Raider rain? What the heck were you saying, Tomb Raider? <laughs> Why? You're usually like coder. Oh, okay, good Caillou. I'm not usually on. I have I have another account that I get on for like when I'm just watching regular live streams. So this is the account that I stream on. I don't see messages very often. Um, did the freaking game? No, they didn't. It didn't change. Okay, there it did. Uh, hi Grammy, hi Black Fame Geek, hi Caillou, hi Rain. Oh, okay, I'm raiding pyramids and tomb. You're right, I, you're right, except I'm not raiding them because I'm a good, I'm a good little archaeologist. And, and I'm an assassin. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be raiding tombs, except I did, didn't I? I did definitely raid some tombs. Uh, uh, on the way out of that big tomb. Also, Viva! Yay, Grammy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, it's okay. There's never enough time. But, uh, I actually was dro doing some errands. <laughs> All right, Coder! <laughs> I was doing some errands this morning, um, and I saw, uh, I was trying to decide what game we would play. And I saw an Assassin's Creed symbol in the back of somebody's car, and I was like, oh, well, obviously, we have to play Assassin's Creed. <laughs> and I haven't played this since the last time we played this, so forgive me, my ineptitude. But we were... I was gonna do some level three right now, so I figured I'd do this one. We gotta rescue some farmers. It was Destiny. No, Ancelagon, I'm sorry about the bad connection. I hope I hope you fi figure it out. I hope it's fine. Uh, so we're gonna do this family reunion quest, I guess. Um, what do buttons do? Hmm. Inventory. Is it just me or is like corner? Whoa. Oh, Bayek trekked across the vast Egyptian desert to corner Rujik and the famous bent pyramid of Snef Neferu? Neferu. Uh, Bayek's first kill, the death of Rujik, brought on Anubis's apparent curse on the Natron mines. Um. We saw this oracle of Siwa by Ptolemy. Oh, so this is the Ptolemaic reign. Okay, we're, we're during the Ptolemaic reign. Overseas Temple of Amun. He brutalizes the villagers in an effort to learn their vault secrets. Um, Stonesmith, hi! What's up? I'm glad you could make it. You didn't die last time, by the way, when we played Darkest Dungeon. Uh, literally, Kayuk, we're, we're, or Rain, we're still doing, um... We're still doing, like, exploring stuff, I think. Like, we haven't... I'm not really sure, like, usually the game sets up a good reason for you to, like, want to be killing these guys. But if it's during the Ptolemaic reign, then the, the, the Ptolemies were actually Greek pharaohs, I'm pretty sure. So they're actually outsiders, they're foreigners, and they reigned during a really, um, contentious time period. And like like there's wars and and everything like the the Alexander the Alexander Empire had fallen apart Alexander's Great Empire had fallen apart Egypt was one of those parts that had been sectioned off to the Ptolemies and and uh, so these are like foreign leaders during a time when Alexander the Great Empire is fracturing and fighting each other and so I don't know if that's gonna hint as to what why we're doing this but. I don't know. I don't really know why we're murdering people. Hi, Sashu! 
Right, Ptolemy the first succeeded Alexander in Egypt, right. Oh, also guys, I looked into getting subscriber badges and apparently affiliates do not get subscriber badges. I'm not sure if we already established this, but I, we do get the emote. So, uh, what kind of emote do you want? I wanted to do the acorns for the subscriber badges, which means I should probably just apply for partnership. Not that I think I'll get it, but, um, I really wanted badges. That's what, that's what I was excited for. I was excited for the badges. Um, but I think we had a poll going at one point about what kind of badges people would like. But if you guys want, you can, like, I know a couple people mentioned, like, drawing something up, and then I, I said we could vote on it. Like, if somebody wanted to draw one up, and we could vote on it. Or I could try to make something. There should have been a Greek Assassin's Creed? Oh my gosh, that would have been interesting. There's so much, there's a lot of history you could do there. At the same time, though, I don't know, I get kind of bored with the Greeks. Like, I've been listening to this, like, 24-hour audiobook on, um, ancient history of the civilized world or whatever, and, uh, which, of course, the guy is like, so, civilization, it was, it talks about, like, civilizations, right? So, like, uh, but he does also go into some, you know, ancient histories of people that aren't technically having civilizations, which means, like, buildings, based, like, cities, you know? So I like that he kind of was like, here's the problem with the term civilization. And I was like, that's how he like started the book out. And I was like, sweet. <laughs> uh, I can fast travel. What? Okay, where's the... Oh, I want to go over here. Okay. Hi, Larry! I love the little salute. That is so adorable, Larry. All right, so I have to turn around. Is it gonna, aha, okay, there it is, it's floating. We run so fast. Sorry, the frames aren't great, which is actually kind of giving me a little bit of a prop, kind of, it's kind of weird. Priest to the Pharaoh. Take care you faithfully follow his beneficent command. Uh -oh. You owe all you have. Your farms, your goods, your children. You owe your very lives to his highness, Ptolemy, the benefactor, ruler of the two lands. Ruler of the two lands. It is a sacred duty to pay taxes to the Pharaoh. It is a sacred duty to keep Ooh. him in all things. To do otherwise is a betrayal of the gods. I mean, technically, yeah, if you're not obeying the pharaoh, you're disobeying the gods. But he's a Ptolemaic pharaoh. It doesn't count. There will probably be Romans. There probably will be Romans. There probably will. We'll probably see the Greeks at least. Oh hi. We're in the temple of Amun right now. Are we not supposed to be here? I feel like we're not supposed to be here. Our goal is to free the farmers. Yes, this is not an area we're supposed to be. Ooh. Here's the problem. I don't remember how to... I don't remember. I don't remember how to summon my birdie. What do you want me to tell you? Uh, I gotta look that up. Oh, Sashu, I'm probably I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you have not had a good week. Where's my phone? I'll use my computer. I'm glad you think so, Larry. I'm using the Elgato to stream. So hopefully the graphics look okay. Also, we don't have that annoying little graphics notifier up in the top right corner. Telling me that my computer can't actually play this game. Um, how to use bird in Assassin's uh, Creed Origins. <laughs> um, let's press up on the D-pad. 
They did, didn't they? They declared Alexander a son of God and the Pharaoh after Alexander liberated Egypt from the Persians. Eh. Oh no, yeah, okay. A son of God and a Pharaoh after Alexander liberated Egypt from the Persians. Right. That's what my book said. I mean, it's cool that they're kind of flexible. They're like, oh, he's not Egyptian, but that's okay because he freed us from the Persians. Okay. I know nothing. How do I? Aha, my birdie. There's me. How do I mark? Ah. Okay. What? Can I not mark him? If I like get too low, will they? Ooh, right there. That's that's what we're looking for, I think. What? Set a marker on that one. That's my actual target? What is that? Oh! Is this where they're keeping... Where they're oh in captivity okay we marked him mark him oh ho mark these ones this is cheating oh god there's a Roman it's a Roman Looking for a job, starting to- I feel you, Seshu. Looking for a job is- Oh, so if I just see them, I don't have to mark them. I just see them and it marks them? I don't have to press the button? Wait, what? Aha. That's a treasure, I think. There's another one. Oh, God, there's a whole bunch in there. Fleeing. Somebody's fleeing. Someone's sleeping. Eating. Uh. Oh, okay, okay, Ray. I'm interesting about Alexander. He, I didn't know Ptolemy had his body. Hi, Ida. We're doing great. We're cheating. Oh, whoop. Did I fly out of the area or something? Oh! What are you doing here? Hi. Hey, what? Um... Die. I don't actually know how to kill that guy. What do you want me to tell you? I know nothing. I don't know how to murder again. How do I murder? Whoa. Come here! Jeez. Let me at least talk to my wife. Uh-oh. Hmm. Mine now! Oh hi. Please let me out. My family needs me. This is a very slow weapon. Okay, hide in the bushes. Nope. Hiding in the bushes. How do I murder? Ah! Alexander's tomb was somewhere in Alexandria. What uh, what's our goal right now? I know nothing. 
Uh, our goal right now is to rescue the farmer. But our big, big goal is to, um... Let me at least talk to my wife. Our big, big goal is to kill the guy who's terrorizing the village or something. Um, hold on. Let's see, are there any near me? There's like a crafting table up there? We have to get all the way over there. Eating, sleeping. I think those guys are outside the... There he is. Outside the, the perimeter. Original drone view? Heck yeah. Alright, but we need to get all the way over there. Alright, it looks like the roof is fairly safe. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, that person's in there. This person... Could probably see me. I don't know if I can, like, hear somebody from far away or if this guy is, like, right next to me or what. what do can I murder from above? I, know nothing. I feel like there's a way to murder from above. Like, there has it's an Assassin's Creed game, but I don't have the Assassin's Creed blades right now. I don't really like the... Do I have... Um, ooh, this is cool. Oh, no, four. Fine. I'm gonna use the blade. While you were playing with the mace, I was studying the blade. It's a lot easier to use. The mace is, like, really heavy. Soon I'll be able to use this. Okay. How to murder from above Assassin's Creed Origins. I love the music. Dang it. I don't know what's gonna tell this is not gonna tell me. Arrow to the top of the head! Iceberg! Hello! You're right, you're right, you guys, you're right. I was looking it up, but you guys are right. Okay, how do I equip it? Oh, I could use this. This is a, a better bow. Oh, I think I know how. Nope. Oh, I no. That's not all. I I can whistle. That's right. I can whistle. So if I could drop down and hide in the bushes, I could whistle him over to me. But Iceberg, you've never been fond of the Assassin's Creed games, but you've only played Brotherhood. I really love I love the Assassin's Creed games. Uh, if you if you want to play one that'll make you love it, play um, Assassin's Creed 4. It's the best. The guy I want to punch the main character in the face a lot of the times, but he's a pretty realistic character, and he's got more personality than a lot of the Assassin's Creed protagonist does, besides Ezio. Um, but it's a fun one. You're a freaking pirate. That is a cardinal sin. Play the original tune. It will change your mind. I think if you started with Brotherhood, it would be kind of weird because that's the that's the second one in Ezio's story. Hmm. Oh, Ezio is charming. Yeah. Oh, Ezio is super charming. Like I love Ezio. I actually really love Ezio's trilogies. Trilogy, I guess. Um. I'm trying to. How do I equip the bow? Oh, Death Rod, you have no. Hi, Death Rod, by the way. But my computer cries when it runs this. It actually, when the first time I played it, um, had a notification in the top right corner that my graphics card couldn't handle the game. 
So technically my, my computer shouldn't be able to play this game. And then there's green origins. I know there's like a there's like a button on the D-pad, I swear. Please let me out. My family needs me. Hit left on the D-pad. That's what I was doing. Oh, okay. It just wasn't working. Mm, you idiot! Let me at least talk to my wife. Oh, God. Hey, hold on. Time to die. No, hit him, please. Let me out. My family needs me. I'm doomed. We're doomed. We're doomed. What? Uh, it's fine. Hey. Uh, let me just loot. Why not? I'll just loot. Let me out. My family. You cannot escape. Yes, I can. Watch me. Wait a minute. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> oh god, that was scary. You'd like to upgrade to a 1080? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Larry. Wow. Gotta clean all the coolers and fans. I want to get a new computer. Um, because this one... It keeps blue sc oh, that's right, Death Road. You were saying, like, oh my gosh. You were saying last time you were having problems. Ugh. How do I actually equip the bow? It's not... Like, I click over at it. I don't even know what processor and graphics card I have, to be honest. Once you have it equipped... Hold down the left trigger to aim your bow! Oh, how do you fire? Okay. Nope, the wrong button. Whoop. You have to forgive me. Like, I- one of the reasons I haven't wanted to play this game is because I feel like I'm not good at it. Like, I don't know how to play it very well yet. Right. Right, Rain. My, 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 I guess my processor is an i3. <laughs> it's an i3 processor. So it shouldn't be able to play this game. I think they're all on alert looking for me. Is that what this is all about? Ah! <laughs> I didn't see them! These, these grass, Egypt grass is great. I love Egypt grass. 
Yeah, an i3, Black Fam Geek, an i3. My laptop's an i7. But it doesn't run diddly squat for some reason. I can't even run, I can run Overwatch only on the lowest settings. So what are those, uh, what are those... Are they like putting up an alarm or something? Those guys that are, have the red flame, are they like the alarmers? I was an adventurer like you till I got an arrow in the knee. Yeah, my laptop's an i7, but my, my actual desktop's an i3, because it was an Alienware. And I was like, I'll see how the i3 does. And for a while, it did fine. And now all these, uh, these updated... These updated games does not do... Maybe I should hide the bodies. Can I hide the bodies? I want to go. I want to go explore the buildings. Oh, not putting anybody on top of your buildings was a bad idea. Welcome back. Welcome back, Hank. Let's see. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. It's fine. I looted some arrows earlier, but apparently it's not enough. How about I just put everybody on alert and then they'll run around in circles and I'll be able to slip past them. How's that for my master plan? Most disappointed. Hey, I climbed on top of a building. I'm out of arrows. Is that a viewpoint over there? I do want to go see the viewpoints. I love that there's a day-night cycle. Is it easier for me to get around at night? Hmm. I don't want to go over there. Do we have... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we got a fern pile right there. Fern pile. How do I, can I like do a, a leap of faith or something? Hang on, let's mark this guy. Right there. Look at him. Yep. What's that? Transporting, what does that mean? Can I take it from you? Is that what you're saying? Uh... Sounds bad to me, but what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? I'm trying to save. How do you save? Ah! Is this... Is this uh... How do you save in Assassin's Creed games? How to save? It might just be an autosave thing in Assassin's Creed Origins. How to save your game? Uh, it's got a pretty liberal autosave system. Um. To quit out of the game before... Oh, right. There's no way to manually save your game. It's fine, then. It's fine. Assassin's Creed does that. Yeah, it's... I feel like it's... I remember most Assassin's Creed games being pretty auto savey. I am playing this for basically the first time. This has all new mechanics. If I play, if I was playing Assassin's Creed One right now, I would be, I would be, I'd be owning. 